Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we looked at Hess's law. Hess's law states that if a reaction can be carried out by two different pathways, then the total enthalpy change for these two pathways will be the same, provided that the starting and final conditions are the same for both pathways. And if you haven't watched that video, then I'd strongly suggest that you watch it now. In this video I'll give you some questions to try yourself. Here's the first question. I'm showing you the reaction between magnesium and aluminium chloride. I'd like you to calculate the standard enthalpy change of reaction using the data provided. And you'll notice that I'm providing you with standard enthalpy change of formation data. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, first we write in all of the elements involved and the number of atoms. We've got three magnesium atoms, which you can see here, and two aluminium atoms, which you can see here. We also have six atoms of chlorine, and remember that chlorine exists as the chlorine molecule Cl2. This means that we need three chlorine molecules. Okay, now remember that for enthalpy cycles like this, when we use standard enthalpy change of formation data, the arrow is point upwards. Now we can write our values in. We'll start with the left hand arrow. Magnesium is an element, and standard enthalpy change of formation only applies to compounds so we can ignore the magnesium. The standard enthalpy change of formation of aluminium chloride is minus 705.6 kilojoules per mole. However, we're making two moles of aluminium chloride, so we need to multiply this by two. Looking at the right hand arrow, we can ignore the aluminium as that's an element. The standard enthalpy change of formation of magnesium chloride is minus 641.6 kilojoules per mole. We're making three moles of magnesium chloride, so we need to multiply this by three. Okay, now we need to consider the direction of the arrows. We want to go from the reactants to the products, in other words, the direction I'm showing here. However, as you can see, the left hand white arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. This means that when we do the calculation, we need to reverse the sign for the standard enthalpy change of formation of aluminium chloride. Okay, so here's the calculation. The standard enthalpy change of reaction will be plus 1411.2 kilojoules plus minus 1924.8 kilojoules. This gives a final answer of minus 513.6 kilojoules per mole. Okay, here's another question for you. This shows the dehydration of ethanol to form ethene and water. I'm giving you the standard enthalpy changes of formation that you need, so pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, first we write in all of the elements involved and the number of atoms. First we've got two atoms of carbon. Next we've got six atoms of hydrogen. Remember that hydrogen atoms exist as the hydrogen molecule H2. Therefore we've got three hydrogen molecules. And finally we've got one atom of oxygen. Oxygen atoms exist as the oxygen molecule O2. Therefore we've got half an oxygen molecule. Okay, again, you need to remember that for enthalpy cycles like this, when we use standard enthalpy change of formation data, the arrows point upwards, and here they are. Next, we can fill in our data. Looking at the left hand arrow, the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethanol is minus 277.1 kilojoules per mole. Looking at the right hand arrow, the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethene is plus 52.5 kilojoules per mole and the standard enthalpy change of formation of water is minus 285.8 kilojoules per mole. Next, we need to consider the direction of the arrows. We want to go from the reactants to the products, in other words, the direction I'm showing you here. However, as you can see, the left-hand white arrow is pointing in the wrong direction. This means that when we do the calculation, we need to reverse the sign for the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethanol. Okay, so now we can do the final calculation. The total standard enthalpy change of formation for the right hand side is minus 233.3 kilojoules per mole. Therefore, the standard enthalpy change of reaction will be plus 277.1 kilojoules per mole plus minus 233.3 kilojoules per mole. This gives a final answer of plus 43.8 kilojoules per mole. In the next video, we look at enthalpy cycles involving standard enthalpy change of combustion. 